Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and in this video I want to explore a way to automatically remove all empty columns from a table. Recently I came across a LinkedIn post by Daniel Pereira who shared his method for removing columns not just with nulls but also considering empty text strings, spaces and or control characters. Personally I've never had the need for this but I thought it would be a fun exercise. My approach will involve the table.profile standard M library function and its optional additional aggregates parameter to add a non-empty count column to its output. Let's go to the Power Query editor. So before we do that, maybe you've never seen table.profile because you can't invoke it through the user interface. There's simply isn't a button for you to push at this time. I've referenced my sample query and duplicated the initial step. So I can wrap the function table.profile around it. So inside the formula bar, tp, and I'll look for table.profile, tap to select that, and just wrap that around it. Press that check mark. And this tells me something about the data in my table. There's even a null count column. If we were only interested in removing the columns that contain nulls, we could use this. Let's try that to see if our method works. I'll select that filter option with the no null column, select 11, and press that check mark. This returns an error, and that seems to be a bug. However, I found that projection is a simple way around that. So I'll select the previous step in my applied steps to the right hand side and select just the columns that I need for the logic that I'm trying to build. So in a set of square brackets for projection, I'll select the columns that I want to retain from this table. So in another set of square brackets, I can select the column called column, enter a comma, select another column, I'll use the count column as well, and I will also need the null count column. Press that check mark. Let's see if this has resolved the error. So I'll step back to that next step. Perfect. Now I'm only interested in whatever remains in the column called column because that has the column names. So in a set of single square brackets, I'll select that. Press the check mark and this returns a list with the column names. Now I can use this list in the function called table.removeColumns. I'll press the FX in front of the formula bar. Instead of filter rows, I will return the sample. So the initial step in my query. Press that check mark and this returns all of the rows that I had previously and now I can wrap that function around it. So table remove columns. Let's select that. It wants a table, that's the thing that we're looking at and we can pass that our list with column names that we want to remove. Filtered rows, let's close off the function and press that check mark. Perfect. Now we know that this technique works, we can look into that optional additional aggregates parameter to add a non-empty count column to the table.profile function. So I'll duplicate this query, right click that, select duplicate, let's move that back to the table.profile step. I'll also remove that projection so we can return the output of the table.profile function itself, right? And inside the formula bar, enter a comma to get to its second parameter, the additional aggregates. In the list containing list, we can add a new column name as text. So as a text value, we can say, let's call that non-empty, comma. 
Then there's a type check function to select the rows from the table. So here we could say each type is opening parentheses underscore to access each item from our column, any type. Because we want to consider all of the data types in each of the columns. Now, instead of each type is underscore any type, I could also say each true, and that will have the same result. So let's do that. So each true, comma. And now it wants an aggregation function. So here we could say each, and think of a single column as a list of values, right? So we want to transform that list first to clean the text and to trim additional spaces. List transform, enter an underscore, each text clean, enter that underscore there as well, and wrap a text trim around that. Now we said we wanted to consider all of the column types. This means that if a column type is not compatible with text, this will return an error. To deal with that, we can just add a try and otherwise clause. So each try, and let's see if that works. Otherwise, we want the value that's currently there at that position in the list. So list.transform will then return a list. And we want to select each item that does not return an empty text string because the result of text clean and text trim that could result in empty text strings. And we want to emit those. So I'll wrap list.select around that. List select. And we'll say each underscore unequal to an empty text string. And finally, we have to count the no null values. So again, all the way at the front, we'll add a list no null count. So wrap that around it. And press that check mark in front. Each row returning a zero in the non-empty column should be omitted. Let's try to update the remaining steps. So we need to project the column and the non-empty column. So instead of single square brackets, select the column called column, comma, and also select the non-empty column. Press that check mark. We can now select the rows. So this will error out, but we can say none empty equals zero. Press that check mark, and this returns a list with two column names we can pass to the table.remove columns function. I've also added a custom function for your reference to remove the empty columns and the empty rows in one go. So I'll select that. So you can look inside. It has that same additional column it adds to the table.profile function and then uses that to filter out those columns. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily.
All the best. Take care.